Dude, you're so hospitable. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, like you take care. Of, you're a good host. Oh, sick. <laughs> I thought I meant like I, it's like hostage or some shit. <laughs> then you're just taking me. Let's talk about bitches. I got a lot of types and they different. She come from the south. She Brazilian. You stuck in your feelings. Her guts I be feeling. Uh, welcome back. We're fucking with another person taking over Andy ass from the IE and friends. We got Saul. Yo. V. Gomez. Yeah. Yes, funny. Thank you very much. He's letting me use the studio um, for <laughs> one fifty an hour. Yeah, one fifty an hour. So if you guys really want to use a studio, <laughs> one fifty an hour. You can pay me. And then I'll pay him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get send it to him, and he'll send it to me. Just like last night, I was trying to get you some money for people taking selfies with you. That oh yeah, <laughs> that didn't work out, but you know, yeah, it's fine. They weren't listening. Thank you for having me on your show, Dude, I appreciate it. Thank you. I mean, like I said, you're really hospitable. You fucking let me borrow your memory card, your cameras. You even let me borrow your room at one point. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I I told Caesar I was like, bro, I got drunk for Caesar for your birthday, and I stayed at Saul's house. Uh -huh. And then like I was like, but fuck that skeleton. Oh yeah, I have I, a skeleton. My I have a weird well, I'm not a I'm not one thing about me is like I like having fun when it comes to being scared, but I'm not scared of I'm really not scared of anything. Like, well, paranormal. Because don't ask me to go skydiving. I won't do that. But I'm not Wait, did it get two hundred likes? I don't know. I don't, I don't even check. I don't want to check. Go like this. <laughs> but Man, I don't forget. <laughs> but I'm not like scared of the supernatural or paranormal at all. Like so like I used to have that skeleton like in my room. I used to have the nun mask just chilling like on a stand. I had my I sleep with my closet open. I sleep face up. Well, ever since you fucking boxed exactly out that what was it the ghost the, the nun? Yeah, my <laughs> sleep paralysis. Every time, ever since I like fucked that sleep paralysis up, no one no one fucks with me. That's cool. I mean, <laughs> good for you. Fucking, I don't know if you know Constantine. Constantine, or the, the the Marvel character. Oh, uh, Constantine! I thought that was like a Bible character. Oh, well, it probably is, but uh, so Constantine, he he was played by Keanu Reeves in the movies, but he pretty much like fights demons and because mm. he's not afraid and he's like just there. So that's you. No, yeah, I'm definitely fighting demons <laughs> and all these toxicas too. Yeah, tux not anymore. I cut them all off. That's what I was gonna ask you. I was like, what what's it like being a retired fuckboy? Uh, I mean, there's no there's no upside, like because once like people are just like oh sure whatever like no one believes me if i say i have no hoes if i say i'm not Dude, texting anyone no one believes me that's what i was telling um caesar i was like you guys are so different on the pod and in real life like i know you guys outside the pod yeah, let them know let them know we're not yeah, dude. i'm not Dude, they're so boy. nice <laughs> like they're they, um so will just randomly sends me like romantic text messages like hey good morning i'll send them flowers and stuff yeah like so you're you're like oh, a hopeless romantic like yeah i am a hopeless romantic well i don't like yeah i'm hopeless romantic yeah i'm gonna say it, fuck it. yeah i mean i love love i'll say it. yeah you do yeah. which is funny i love love like i love everything about it i want to have i want to have the fucking the golden retriever with the white picket fence and a family. I like yeah. that. But, you know, it's I decided funny. to start a podcast. Well, yeah. I mean, Mario from Viva Con Wells, he says, men don't go to therapy. We start podcasts. A hundred percent. And it's true because yeah. I'm sad. And that's why I brought you here because I was like, I feel like Saul can just get me more sad. I oh, might even get yeah. crying on this podcast. I was thinking, I so. But, dude, I just wanted to first start off. Thank you very much. I didn't think you were going to do this, but um you actually gave me this contract <laughs> so i just want you to oh. yeah like i my podcast <laughs> is finally gonna blow up he finally just gave me the the pen and everything to like write it so i just wanted to do this on camera low key bro. No, no 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 i want everyone to know like real i so, see illuminati yeah i there you go so just signed it right you there. signed your way you there signed you your life away to the ie network so thank you very much once you let go of this your soul is mine it's fine dude i'm ready for the fame for the money ah you said it all right cool you thanks so because that i'm gonna take this to my next hike and you'll see <laughs> you'll see <laughs> so i'm officially in so if you're gonna start seeing this podcast just start blowing up you just saw it why you gotta do a couple of these randomly okay just, well I, I like jim carrey's no that one's talking to <laughs> shit hey uh, Got to do all these. You see how we don't even do it though? Because <laughs> I was scared. Yes. Dude, it's so funny. I told um, Mario I was going to do this. He's like, why does everybody bring up the Illuminati with Saul? <laughs> He's like, <"W> watch this. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, ever since you guys, well, a while back, you did that Mark Zuckerberg one. <laughs> what the, Mark Zuckerberg? The, you had um, his face. I don't know who it was. It was probably you behind the trench coat with Mark Zuckerberg when you did that Facebook thing. Oh, oh no. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Damn, I forgot about that. Now, honestly, for me, this is my goal in life is 
to have an Illuminati montage completion of me. That's my goal. Like literally, I want to get so famous because I right now, since the beginning, I've always had I've, I've always known I'm going to be famous. But what I really want is I want someone to make a montage of proof. So <laughs> Gomez is in the Illuminati. So ever since I started doing videos, I, was, I always do like I'll be like, I'll do some weird shit. Like the yeah. like Ice Spice? Yeah, ice yeah. Well, like yeah, I'll do some weird <laughs> shit. Like even like, I don't even bring it up. I'll just do someone's random pod and I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. my mom's going to watch it. She's like, Nico, why are you hanging out? She's all praying right now. I'm like, tell me bro, the day someone makes me a montage of Souls in the Illuminati confirmed. That's what I made. Because that's what I grew up on. Middle school, I used to watch Jim Carrey in the Illuminati, Jay Z in the Illuminati, all these things. Right? The yeah. It was a. Uh, I remember watching. It was like a four part video series of Michael Jackson. Yeah. Of him saying that he was gonna get killed by the. Yeah, I mean, I've seen all of those. The Oprah one, dude. Yeah. That's wild. I want to be. I want someone to make me one of those. All right. So <laughs> there you heard it. You want to make? And do you know the way I'm gonna know that you're Illuminati? Uh. You're gonna wear a dress. Oh yeah, a hundred percent. Dude, a hundred percent. That's so fucking. <laughs> I mean, people are like, you would not do this for a hundred million dollars. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do that for a hundred million dollars. I would. I wouldn't wear a dress for a hundred million dollars. Oh, okay. I don't wouldn't. What's your, oh, well, I don't. That's my, that's my, that's my, uh, I feel like when it comes to entertainment, you have to have boundaries at some point because, or else you're just literally, if you don't have boundaries in entertainment, you're literally just a puppet. Yeah. People can just do what they want with you. Like, oh, here, give them money. You become a slave to money. So I go here, give him money. Let's lose his morals. Whatever he does is enough money buys someone. Mine is I won't kiss another dude. Uh, and I won't. What's it called? I won't uh, wear a dress. If you see me do any of those two, I sold my soul. <laughs> you're in. Yeah, yeah you're I'm in. in. I'm in. Yeah, dude. I mean, it's, so, it's always with this, co this conversation with you. But I know and I felt sad for you because you're a huge Kevin Hart fan. Oh, yeah. And then all this thing started that coming out about him. The industry plan. Yeah, like bro. Thing. I was like, I mean, of course, Cat Williams, he said all of these yeah. crazy things. But uh -huh. yeah, he uh, I was a little that one. I don't I don't like thinking about it. <laughs> You're like, no, it's not real. <laughs> it's not real. Well, it's like for me, like if someone said about Tom Cruise, like, hey, do you hear Tom Cruise is like killing babies? I'm like, no. What do you mean? <laughs> I like think he's eating babies. I think what it is more, it's the um, Kevin Hart. He definitely worked his way up to a certain point where they just turned him into a poster child where he's like, oh, OK, this, this are this is our, our black man of comedy. And then so they just they just build this. Now they just build him. But I think his work ethic that led him to the point of where he can at least get an opportunity like that, because I mean, who would going to say no to that? Yeah, right? if you work right. your ass off for your whole life and then you finally make it to a position and it's not like, hey, you're going to be our poster child. It's just all these opportunities are coming to you. And of course, you're going to say yes to all of them. <laughs> yeah, of course. Like, yeah. Yeah, is the industry helping me? Yeah. Did I tell them to help me? No, but they decided to help me. So yeah. I'm not going to back out. So I think that's what it is. I think that's really just what it is. It's right. not like he's like killing babies or anything. I mean, I mean, I know we're fucking around, but do you think something maybe it's not even called Illuminati? But there has to be something controlling it out there. Oh, 100%. Right? Illuminati. Is it? No, honestly, okay, if yeah. it's controlling, there's there's not a name of Illuminati. It's probably some yeah. dumb name. It's probably like like these super rich, famous people. They probably had like a Call of Duty clan tag back in the day. <laughs> yeah. And they just ran with it. And yeah. those are now, it's like the, like, a, like just a four letter word is running the world. Dude, that they made up in a in Call of Duty lobby, right? Because yeah. like, I'm thinking about the next generation. Like, where does it stop? Because we know about like all these old ass senators, like all these older people, like running the country. Yeah, but like, when's our generation like going to run? The Illuminati's gonna make a TikTok. They're gonna be like, what? to be honest, <laughs> <laughs> nah. To be honest, I think everything's just gonna go back. To, I I feel like there is this one thing I heard a long time ago. It's like you were you grow up usually you grow like your early life you're like democratic and then once you get a little older you turn republican yeah and i think that's just how it happens every like so if we say like oh i can't wait till our generation starts yeah. becoming senators they're gonna they're their morals are gonna switch yeah their morals are gonna change i mean dude like um george w bush and his uh, dad george h w bush they were both in the cross and bones yeah. society and then they both became presidents. Uh -huh. And then, like, I guess multiple 
like big pe- big power people have been in the crossing bones what's crossing bones so it's a secret society in which is confirmed already like we, everyone knows it's real but it was like in college and stuff like that so it's it's a real society but it's just like only certain people can get in uh-huh. so it's all like these senators kids going to like harvard because i think george w bush went to harvard yeah or like one of those elite schools so i'm not gonna lie bro i've been thinking of starting my own secret society and i'm not even lying Dude, it'll be so easy. I, honestly, I mean, like, I like it. Just takes one person and with a little power. Because I think yeah. of all these like cults. Yeah, it won't be a cult, but it would be like a basically it'd be a collection of the most influential people I know and the smartest people I know, and we just meet up every like three months or every four months, and we just have a mixer or a dinner, and we just talk and just exchange information. And like, okay, cool. And then we just go back our separate ways. Well, and that's what it doesn't have to be bad. Yeah, Everyone thinks bad. Society, it's, yeah, it doesn't have societies to be. are bad. Like yeah, but it'd be but to get in, probably have to kill a chicken or something. I don't know. Something something see if you're down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is, have you seen Hot Rod? Hot Rod. It's been a long time. Uh, well, she's like, well, how can I join the crew? And she's like, well, you have to do something crazy. And then he gets the ice and he just dumps it on her foot. Uh-huh. He's like, welcome to the team. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> it's gonna that's be something crazy. like that. Yeah, I'll be something like that. <laughs> So I'm well, thinking about that. All right, cool. Well, if you start seeing like all of the podcasts just start slowly, all your friends start getting famous. Yeah. You know, that's a secret society. But you'll never know. You'll never know. You just know someone's pulling the strings and it's the maestro. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. SVG. Savage. I thought about making a company called Savage, but that's kind of corny. No, like, oh, I was saying the secret society. Oh, uh, nah. That's, it'd be like, well, don't say the name. Oh, yeah. yeah, it won't be secret anymore. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> they're like, oh yeah, everybody knows about yeah, that. Yeah, it'd be like the Dark Cross. Hell yeah! I don't know. I'm just kidding. I don't know. You're gonna use IE in there somewhere, <laughs> probably, dude. You know, so it's funny. I'm an ordained minister. My wife and I became yeah. ordained yeah. ministers for like. Also, this is actually legit. Then, yeah. So, yeah. like, since you're a minister, this actually like. Well, this- you're the one that gave it to me. And then you signed it. And I signed minister. it. Yeah. It's actually official. Yeah. Do you have the stamp? I can get it from my car. Oh, it's in your car. <laughs> <laughs> I carry it with me wherever I go. That's dope. But no, dude, one of the, like a couple of things, of course, you can marry people. You can bless a funeral. But the biggest, coolest thing out of everything is you can start your own religion. Mm. So. I thought about starting my own cult called Friends. There you go. Well, that's all your Patreon followers. <laughs> yeah. You got you already got X amount of people there, so Oh yeah. We can definitely yeah, I can definitely launch a cult. It'd be fun. I feel like it'd be cool, like a little retreat. <laughs> it's like like literally the Bohemian Gross. Don't somehow. drink the salud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, salud's gonna be in it too. It's oh, gonna be poisonous, so we're all gonna drink it. It's gonna be the secret society outing uh, sponsored by Salud. salud. <laughs> <laughs> Taste by Salud. Oh dude, after okay. hours. After well, it's funny. We've been talking for anything. I mean, just about Illuminati. But I want to get to know you. Uh-huh. Let's fucking get to the Hell deep. Yeah. Let's fucking know why you like tulips. What makes me click. What makes you click. Why, you, uh, why you're not afraid of ghosts. Uh-huh. And dude, um, so I think the more I've just learned about you from the, your podcast, from other podcasts that you've been on, I didn't know you actually made videos for so long. Oh, yeah. Like, that's wild. Especially when you told me, like, you were legit, like, some of these kids, like, youtuber uh-huh. and i didn't even know that yeah I, I used to back honestly it started even way before then it started third grade Damn, okay. in my uh computer class we started making powerpoints and then um you know in powerpoints you can put smiley faces and you can put like annotations and, oh like animation yeah it was yeah. animations and all this stuff so i was doing that and because i would just do it because i thought it was funny and then the computer teacher he would project the, our our presentations for the whole class to see. Yeah. And then minds will go up and people will be laughing like, ah, this is funny, whatever, whatever. So next time we do another presentation, I make it even funnier. And I just started making my shit. I, and then I like, I just loved it so much that I would go home and I'll just work on presentations so I can make my PowerPoint. So I can, I work on PowerPoint. So I go <laughs> to my computer class and I have a better PowerPoint than last week. And Bro. Before. And so I was always been on stories saying like that. And then I learned how to animate it myself. And then the teacher was in, like super impressed. Like, well, we haven't even taught this. I was like, I know. I just really like making PowerPoints. That's cr- I did. I mean, just as far as I've known you, you just seem like such a go-getter. 
Oh, 100 percent bro the and like that that's a perfect fucking example like that's sick it was uh ie network the first name was supposed to be was going to be called make it happen productions because that's just the type of person i like it's like let's make it happen like yeah let's make it like why not let's no, make yeah. it happen like it's so easy like i don't think people understand how easy it is just to make shit happen <laughs> like it's so easy it's literally just laziness beating everybody it's laziness and getting in like oh uh, yeah you make your own obstacles yep like it, it, I don't know, I get, that's what frustrates me so much i'm like bro just do it like it's so easy just do it <laughs> all you got to do is start if you all you got if all you do is start then you're already doing it yeah then you already made it happen instead of just like oh i don't know like like you i want to do it but i don't know where to start <laughs> it's just such a long journey uh you know you actually do it once you actually do step one so you're already in yeah and that's all it takes and if it doesn't work out well guess what now you're step now you're in step three and you can venture off a different way everything's like it's like it's just easy i don't it's yeah. good frustrating <laughs> i like i want everybody to like do what they want to do because once they realize how easy it is it's like a drug like i want to keep doing more things that's why i still yeah. do the podcast yeah and and you well you aaron and caesar when we went to the te salud event you really inspired me to like just start my podcast because i know we've talked about it even like mm -hmm. probably close to a year probably it was probably caesar's birthday when i'm like Dude, like, yeah, I'm thinking about starting a podcast. And I had the logo and everything. Sick. But at that event, then you're like, well, why don't you start it? Yeah. He's like, why don't you do it? I was like, well, I don't have, like, camera. I don't have He's like, you got an iPhone. Yeah. You got you got a mic, right? I was like. Show you the camera. I sing it. I have all the, I have all my OG equipment right here. Yeah. I always keep it because, like, people think you need. My uh, first, best I can look at I Am Friends episode one. That's, everything was so bad about it like quality audio everything was so bad but we just did it yeah and wait look where we at now yeah dude i mean Being interviewed by andy oh i mean i'd rather get interviewed by you guys with spike <laughs> <laughs> no dude but yeah i i think that's what i like like love about you because you're fucking you're one of those people that said you're gonna do it and you did it and you're doing it i mean yeah. i know for a fact you're not where you want to be mm -hmm. but you're on your way there there's nothing fucking stopping you the thing is like i know i'm there already i see time as like I see time as vertical. I don't see it as horizontal. I see like everything's happening at the exact same time. So right now, my future self is doing exactly what I want to do. So I'm just catching, just got to wait. Like as, like not, not all of us. So there's like right now, let's say there's like, figuratively speaking, there's five souls out in the universe. Yeah. There's me at 26, me at 36, me at 46, me at 56, all these different souls and let's maybe 30 is a different wife okay. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> but let's say like 36 year old soul he's got a lamborghini but only one of us only one soul can have a lamborghini at a time so i just gotta wait my turn i just gotta wait my turn so he, he's, he's having it 36 year old soul has what he wants and it's gonna be mine i just gotta wait my turn that's but it's still the same person that's i mean that's a really cool way like first it was like the 56 and then it went down to 40 36 now I mean, you're next. Yeah, that's true. Exactly. So I did, that's a very interesting way to look at it. I just, I just see like everything's written out already. Yeah. Like, and I mean, there's that theory, right? That we've lived so many lives and we're not going to rest until we get our lives. A hundred percent. I think so. And, uh, I don't know. I, I really just think so. There's this one time, the closest thing to I've ever done in the Illuminati, closest thing I've ever done. That's pushing illuminati can we put this up yeah. <laughs> i remember before anything before i did the podcast i was uh i i, I did construction for one day because i thought that's what made you a man i was like i gotta be a man yep. i got I, I can't do it can't deal with these cameras so i did construction for one day and um I remember i was doing construction i was up so early i was tired was digging these holes and you know what I see pull up? <laughs> a BMW X6. Beautiful. And it's just like a, a couple. And they're just checking out their live for their new house. <laughs> God. And I'm digging holes for it. Yeah. And I'm like, I want to be that. So um, I go home, decided I'm quitting. I don't want this. And that night I looked up and I looked up to the sky and I was like looking into the moon. It was more like I was talking to the moon. And I was saying everything I desire. And I was like, if I get it, I'll thank you. I don't know who I was talking to, but I was talking to someone, whoever was listening. Whoever it was. Whoever yeah. was <laughs> someone was listening. For sure, someone is listening. So I just, 
everything I desired. I just, just set it up. I, and I would go every night, every night, ever since then, every night, I'll go outside and um, I'll talk to the moon for like an hour or two. Damn. Yeah. To the point where I want to get a, I want to get a tattoo on my neck. I've just like uh, looked up at the sky long enough. I grew wings. And I think that's just, uh, that's always been, I just feel like I have, because I made so many promises, I can't give up. Like I was like, I told I, whoever was listening, I was like, if you give me this, I'm going to help my mom. I'm going to help my friends. I'm going to help my dad. I'm going to help. I was just listing out a name of people. And the is it wasn't saying like, I wasn't saying like what I want. I was like, what I want to do when I get it. Like, I want to help yeah. this. I want to create this. I want to create opportunities here. So um, it's just like promises I have to keep. So that's that's my Illuminati contract <laughs> with whoever. <laughs> with whoever. Yeah. Well, dude, that, that, and like, that's what I respect about you because I do see you help. Like, I mean, you're helping me. You're, you you yeah. did this podcast. You're helping with your your equipment, and I just see like you really don't gatekeep anything. I don't. Like you you're so helpful to like not just me, but I've seen you be helpful to like other people, and it's just fucking wild. Like you don't care who you talk to, and like if they're asking for help, you fucking help them. Yeah, it's it could be a I don't know if like it's a bad trade because. People take advantage. Yeah, yeah. So I, I've been taking advantage of, I've been just, people squeeze me for information and they just leave me in the dust. Something recently I've been thinking about, this might be like sad, but it was just this past couple months have been hitting me. And I was like, I'm helping out so many people, but who's helping me? And that got me. I was like, damn. And then that's when I started feeling like, why am I helping everybody? Yeah. Like I'm not getting anything in return. Like nobody, I always felt like, the more I help people, the more people will help me. But it just seems like everybody's just coming to me. And and again, but also my fault, like I don't ask for help. Yeah. But I like, like likewise, like I don't, when I give people help, I don't ask them if they need help. I just tell them, hey, bro, you should do this, this, this. Yeah. That. And I just give them like little, little like crumbs of advice. And if they take it, they take it. And if they want to ask me more, then I give it to them. See, my take about that is like, the reason why you're going to get help, of course, like karma. I believe in karma. Yeah. I think it's going to come like sooner or later, something big is going to come specifically for you. But I just think the reason why everybody's coming to you for help is because you're like there at the top. That guy. Nobody's. Yeah, exactly. You're that guy. Like you're there. You're where people want to be like. Uh -huh. And so I think that's why. And I think sooner or later it is just going to pay off for you. It's, I mean, it's been paying off slowly, but I mean, but it's gonna fucking pay off for you because that, oh, yeah. that's wild nah thank you so much and uh i i do hope that it does pay out it's not like if it doesn't pay me out it's fine i had a great time doing this it was a good time and uh i i never look for uh i never see i'm never really looking at the finish line yeah because if there's a finish line that means it's gonna stop <laughs> yeah and i don't want to stop yeah so uh yeah i just uh i don't know kind of forgot but yeah, I would just keep helping people and uh, I'm having a good time doing it. And I think that's all that matters. I'm not like, I'm not helping people because I know I'm not doing it like for an exchange, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, they're exactly. going to help me one day. Yeah. Or I'm going to be good to people because I know I'm the karma is going to repay me. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just my first nature just to help yeah. people. You're genuinely a good person. Yeah, so. So where do you feel like that comes from? Do you feel like it's literally your parents or is, have you had different mentors that have been good to you or? Being a good person like that yeah yeah i mean helping out or like helping um great question because i'm not gonna lie my mom she's a gatekeeper like my mom gatekeeps and she's the one that tells me don't give everybody all your information <laughs> and um but i always argue with her i'm like why one one thing that i've realized and this is why i don't gatekeep is because we're brainwashed to think that there's not enough money or not enough success for everyone and that's why people gatekeep because they're scared. Yeah. They're scared of competition. I am not afraid of competition. I don't see competition. Um, every, every like influencer, every influencer, every podcaster, every anything that has to do in the world I am, I'm in. When I see them do something cool or achieve something, it lights a fire in me and I get, I, I'm so happy for them. Yeah. I'm like, oh shit, you did it. That means I can do it. And that gets me excited. Yeah. And it just, it's a drive. So competition, uh, I don't even, see, I don't see it as friendly competition. I just see it as reminders, like goal reminders. Like, oh, they hit that. Yeah, I can good. do that too. Yeah. So uh, that's why I am i don't gatekeep. 
Um, I don't see no, I don't see no reason to like beef with people. Shit's dumb. Shit's <laughs> it's, so I just don't. we're not high school no more. Yeah, not high school. <laughs> it's just, it gets gets me. That's just another conversation that pisses me off. How <laughs> people don't try to compete with me. Yeah, that's number one. As and I'm competitive, <laughs> yeah, I'm competitive, <laughs> and I will not only make sure you lose, I'll make sure you get dusted. But then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna pick you up. But see, and, and I just want you to learn your lesson. Yeah, that's what makes you a good person, bro. Because there would be people that like do gatekeep, and then like you do meet these people, and then they're like, "Peace." Oh, I feel like for you, you're gonna always remember where you came from. Hundred percent, every single time. Yeah, I hate, um, I, I, I hate bullies. Yeah, I hate people who are already at the top and they're scared of upcomers, so they keep pushing them down. It's it all comes to light. But do you feel like you by yourself, you kind of just made yourself this way or was it someone else um, D- did you learn it like where did you have some mentor or a friend maybe that kind of taught you to be like that my dad taught me patience my dad was uh my dad is the most patient and understanding person ever so i just saw him like in in uh in places of stress he was always calm so i learned that uh from that so i learned patience was first it's like you need to learn patience before you you learn to like help people and stuff and then um it was just me just reading books and listening to yeah mentors and listening to interviews and just realizing like if you want to be successful you listen to successful people yeah right so if a successful person says do this i'm like okay i'm gonna listen to that guy so all these people, all these uh, interviews I've seen of these successful people, they've always been so positive and they always love helping people. And I'm like, well, well okay, I'm going to do that too. Yeah. And so I, it was just something I would just listen to a lot. Um, and then so it just kind of engraved in me. So right. it's just engraved in me now. But I think I learned a lot of a, a lot of my uh, like the way I act now is just through I was like obsessed with like entrepreneurship. So I saw a lot of entrepreneurship interviews. I was uh I was a video editor for like the first social media entrepreneur, Ty Lopez. Yeah. I was literally his right hand man. So uh, I, I I was like, and that was at a that was still at the early ages when your brain's still developing. So I think I I was at a right place where my brain's still developing, and I just took a lot of his like uh like entrepreneur habits and stuff like that. Wait, are you the one that edited the, do you want to be in a Lamborghini like this? No, it's like, uh, <laughs> you know what's more important than this Lamborghini? <laughs> These books. Yes. No, actually, he gave me this book. Really? Oh, shit. The man who will be king. Damn. Oh, shit. And even the people on the fucking cover? Huh? Damn. Okay. He gave me this book and then um, Inland Empire, right? Throne. I was always saying like, oh, this is me, Caesar Aaron. <laughs> so uh the man who will be king yeah i mean it's funny you you um you've kind of inspired me to start reading too like i'm reading um i'm reading a couple books but the one i want to get that no the other one you talked about the e oh the e-myth yes the e-myth oh, you were yeah. talking about it on your live yeah. i was like oh shit what's this and then yeah so it, it's wild because where do you find time to read because <laughs> i feel like you're pretty fucking busy want to do an exercise what Go on your phone, uh huh, and look at your uh, your screen time. Fuck, dude, there it is. It's gonna be bad. Yeah, it is. yeah, it's the time. Let me see. Let me see. Hold like, on. just go on your TikTok screen time, and then you Where, see your time. Where is it? Uh, is it on settings? Yeah, it's somewhere on settings, or just go on screen settings time. Oh yeah, it's right time. there. Fuck, dude. Yeah, so you have the time to read, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Yeah, look. So, uh, like, there's people what, be like six, eight hours on TikTok. I like, bro, at least put 30 minutes into reading. Wait, what what is your say before I say mine? It's still loading. Wait, wait. Oh, okay. What's yours? Where does this am I in the right place? Uh it was just on settings and then it says screen time. Here it is. Yeah, it's not loading. App limits. I, and I have app limits. Oh, do you yeah. oh, dude, that's smart. So it says as of today. Oh, well, okay. It's a little different because um, I had my camera recording for Caesar, so it was like an hour 24. Yeah. But overall, it says daily average 11 hours and 15 minutes. 11 hours. It's down 12% from last week. 11, that's half a day on your phone. Yeah. 
So you have time to read. <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> it, and like, and it kind of goes back to what we were talking about at the beginning. It is just laziness. Yeah. Like once you realize it's, uh, once you realize it's on your head and one thing that's also like, like one of those things that like switch, like rewire my brain. If you can work eight hours for someone else, why can't you work eight hours for yourself? Yeah. There's been times when you're sick and you don't want to go to work, but you still show up to work. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. So why can't you be sick and still show up for yourself? Why can't you be tired, be hungover? And like, you can have any excuse, but you still show up to work. <laughs> so why don't you do that for yourself? Yeah. And uh, so that's what I've just been on. If I feel lazy or something, I'm like, oh, but if it was someone else telling you to do it, you could do it, right? <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, right? oh, what the fuck? I'm doing myself right now. So that, that's, that literally wires me. Dude, that's... And how long have you been doing this full time now? Uh, two years. Yeah, two years. Two years. Yeah. Oh shit, my bad. No, you're good. I got to do it longer to get better tables. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, get the ones that don't move yeah. off. <laughs> and do you feel like it's been worth it these two years? Uh, a hundred percent. I can't complain. I mean, I uh, someone told me recently because I told them that, um. I'll never forget this dude. This dude changed the way I thought too. Cause everybody, even me, right? Like, I don't think I made it, right? I'm not, I didn't like, there's so much, there's way more to go. But like I said earlier, I don't have a finish line. So would I ever make it? No. So this guy told me, he was like, bro, you already made it. I was like, no, I haven't. I was like, bro, I don't have what I want. He's like, you pay your bills with, with doing things you love. Damn. It's like, you made it, bro. And I was like, oh shit, you're right. So I I took that in and I'm super grateful to say, yes, I made it and I'm having a great time and I'm paying all my bills. I'm not, I'm finally at a place where I'm not like, I don't have to worry. Like this is, I, this is how you know when you made it, when all your bills are on automatic payments. <laughs> Dude, yeah, I get it. <laughs> and all my bills are on automatic payments. I'm like, oh shit, I get paid the 12th so my my bills do the the 11th yeah, i'm like oh, yeah. shit i need to find out a way to pay exactly yeah, dude, that's so, true so i i've 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 taken that in and i was like you know what you're right and i'm super grateful and i'm super happy for it and i credit myself all the time people forget to credit themselves i'm like shout out to my younger self who just kept doing it i don't know why he kept doing it i wish i can interview him to be honest i wish i really wish i could interview him because he was just doing it for fun i remember yeah. i remember there's times when i was um Bro, I was getting 200 views and I told my cousins or my like family members like, oh, I can't go on Saturday because that's when I'm filming. That's when I film my videos and they're just like, quit. I'm like, well, that's when I film my videos and I don't like I don't make money off of it. I was getting 200 views, but I still I I was just doing it every little every- determined. Yeah, I was doing it. And uh, I never thought of it like I knew like I knew this is what I wanted, but I didn't have like an end goal to it. I was just having so much fun. Dude, and that's one of the craziest things that you said too was that you kept making videos because you knew one day you would meet Super Ego. Oh yeah, and you're like, he's not gonna just be like, I don't want to make a video with this kid oh who's done God. nothing. Yes, he's like, I have videos, uh, right. and I'm like, that's true, dude. If you don't have like a portfolio per se, like, who are you? Like, it doesn't really matter. Dog, I cannot, I cannot tell you how grateful I am for like just for everything super ego has done yeah. like he's literally like changed my life and i tell him all the time bro i, I literally tell and i know he's annoyed of it like <laughs> i tell him all the time but he always listens to me yeah and he always takes it in and you can tell like he's listening to you and he's such a great dude yeah but i, I owe him a lot so no yeah that's literally that's literally why <laughs> that's literally why i never stopped yeah because yeah, i was like one day super i'm gonna bump into super ego and i'm that's gonna ask fun. him to collab and uh and if he sees that i don't have any videos he's gonna be like what the fuck bro you don't like this yeah exactly so exactly that was my drive super ego dude that's so fucking funny yeah he's dope as fuck yeah i mean and now you know what's crazy bro yesterday someone made this story post and it hit me i was like oh my God. oh i know did I, you see it i think i know what you're talking about it was um i was on bueno bueno someone posted so we were on stage let me see let me look for it. okay yeah we were on stage right and then Super Ego, yeah. I mean, he threw lecture right there. And the comment and the, uh, yeah, the comment says, what's crazy about this pick is seeing the first generation 
in the audience for the next. Fuck, and I was like, damn, man, it's so true. And I remember I was on stage and I saw them. And they, I, I, that's, I thought of that. I was like, oh, shit, like, they're watching me now. <laughs> so like I thought. A whole circle moment. Yeah, I thought that was dope. Everything, they're fucking, oh, my God. I wish I can. T I feel like I need to like engrave it in them. And be like, yo, you guys fucking, you guys did this, dude. And, and I feel like they're both they're fucking humble. They're extremely humble. I I'm like, stop. Them. I want them to be like, yes, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, yes, I did this. <laughs> yeah, you ain't shit without me. I want you to tell me that because they're like, want them smack me. They're like legit the first Latinos that I remember like yeah. watching on fucking YouTube. Like, of course we had like, well, I, I watched Smosh and like this dif different people, Nigga, but there was no one that looked. Yeah, exactly. There's nobody that looked like me that, like, we had cholos. Like, everyone knew, yeah. like, especially in the Mexican culture. Bro, you know, did you know you're Mexican if? Yeah, was exactly. Revolutionary. You're yeah. like, oh, shit, more people are just like us. Dude, exactly. And yes. That was that was the best. That was the best. I don't think they even, like, I like how, they, how I said earlier, like, I wasn't doing it with the goal in mind. Like, they were just doing it because it's something so genuine and so, yeah. something they loved. So, that that's just how it is. And, shout out to them yeah dude shout out i mean i love that they're still making content Come they're on, both yeah. still fucking good friends like yeah. i mean they hung out yesterday at your yeah. show like that was that's cool. fucking sick dude and yeah it, it is legit a full circle moment that you we were little kids watching them on yeah. the screen now we're here <laughs> and i was crying because i were getting evicted and i was watching them <laughs> I, was like, I, I was like is that real now i'm buying houses damn so, which is cool if you want the success, I'm just waiting for your book, dude. My book? I'm going to write a book. Yeah. I'm waiting for it. I'm going to write a book. My goal in life is to run a marathon and write a book. I mean, you can do the marathon. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's all Caesar's podcast is about, too. It's yeah. Marathon. The marathon. I was like, him and. You're getting tired just listening. Like, oh, shit. I was like, God damn, my legs. I start panting. Well, I, see, I put him in his place for you because I know you talk about this, about him not making content. Oh yeah, this is me off. I was like, dude, I'm yeah, mad tell, at you. tell that to Aaron too. Yeah, all right, I'll tell him too. Because I was like, dude, I'm mad at you. I was like, you put up a vlog, you did really good, people loved it, and then you just ghosted everybody, all your followers. Yeah. Oh yeah, and he called you guys out. So he says, since it's the IE Friends takeover, of Andy asks, he's like, we need to see who gets the most likes and views. So that's competition. <laughs> hey, oh no. <laughs> what did I say earlier? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow you're gonna get the other two deleted. <laughs> remember, remember who who who's got the account passwords? Damn, I'm gonna only share mine, like on the IE Network page. I'm only sharing mine. <laughs> Before I'll say I was gonna share all of us, yeah. but now I'm only sharing mine. I might share Aaron's depending on his answer. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. But I'm not. I, and if like somehow it gets shared on IE Network, deleting it. <laughs> Sorry. 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 Damn. Lesson. So I gotta wait. I gotta post yours last, so you, they can go back. They're like, "Oh, Aaron was on here. Oh, Caesar was on here." <laughs> Dude, that shit's fucking funny. Yeah. Now, yeah, I tell. Oh my god, that that's the one thing, bro. It looks like you finally got Hans and Rex though. Yeah. So I, I mean, I like I said, I've always respected you because you just not only did the podcasts, but you're doing TikToks here and there, and now you're actually making videos every yeah, Thursday. Every Thursday. So, I'm um, one thing that frustrates me that I'm, I can, I'm a vent for you for right now. So I think there's seven people in our network, right? Besties, boy, knowing us. And I tell them this, bro. I say this all the time, bro. Seven of us. <laughs> if one person goes viral, it helps everybody else. If two people go viral, it helps other people. It helps us again, yeah. but double. And the chances of one of us going viral, super high. Chances of two people yep. are super high. So I was like, why not? And then once you go viral again, like it literally is just a snowball effect. And it frustrates me. I'm like, bro, guys make content, but they don't want to make content. There's always an excuse. It's so funny though, because I feel like, you know, I'm using my me, for example. Like I'm I feel like I'm starting not from zero because I had a couple people watch my stuff, but like I'm trying to build my way up. Like you guys like built your way up. And now it's just you making content when they could be like also making content. So I just feel like people don't take advantage of the opportunity that that's like right there. You said it. And you said it. I'm going to tell you right now, bro. I tell them this all the time because it's happened to me. What goes up must come down. And what you're going to regret is not taking it to your advantage. Yeah. Because this podcast is not going to last. Well, my podcast, I in France, not going to be here forever. I hope it will. But 
it's there's gonna be a time where I look at Jason Nash, bro. <laughs> look at yeah. literally, there's gonna be a yeah. time when you're gonna look back at it and you're gonna be like, I wish I would have done more. Dude, yeah. And I remember I was in my uh when I was working at the post I was a, as a as a mailman, I was sitting like dreading what I was doing. And I went back to like my old self when I was a YouTuber and I was like, I wish I did more than one video a week. <laughs> it's like, bro, I was fucking in high school. I had yeah, no bills. This fuck. I had no bills. I had nothing. You have the no same conversations that I have with myself. And yep. I was like, I wish I did more. Why didn't I take Vine seriously? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that's going to happen. I, like, I hope it's uh, in a long time. But it's gonna happen. What goes up must come down. So you have to take advantage. And um, I learned that this this past year. Kind of want to say we're like, like I and friends were like plateauing, and I was like, damn, like this doesn't look good right now. And I was like, we did so, bro. We the amount of fun shit we did last year, the places we went. The people we met, and how many vlogs did we make? None. Zero. <laughs> I was like, I don't think I've watched any of them. Yeah, I was zero, like, bro. Uh, and I was like, what? Like, like we had our best year was last year, and none of it was documented. And I'm like, that's gonna eat at me, cause it's a tough year to be. Obviously, we're gonna beat yeah. it because as is that we're gonna beat it. But I'm like, damn, where could we would? Where would we have been if we were just creating content throughout that whole journey? Yeah. Whole new levels, but you know. Dude, like um, I'm gonna call out Aaron because like he his whole fucking weight loss. Oh yeah. That's such a big thing. Everyone loves like seeing where you started to where you're at. And then like that's a fucking huge inspiration for a bunch of people. Dog missed out on like fucking subway brand deals. I, I, on yeah. fucking uh he could have been the hammer subway helper. Guy. Yeah, like, dude. He messed up he missed on all those brand deals, but you know. Come on, Aaron. Caesar, you could have had Nike sponsor your run. Exactly. Yeah. But you, you know, that's it. You can't lead a horse to water and make traffic out the fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like one of those things. Yeah, yeah dude. I mean, and it's so funny because I'm like I said, I'm nowhere near where I want to be, but I know there's specific people in my life that are waiting for me to like get that like next level or like jump like a little more bigger and i know that they're gonna jump on it they're gonna be like hey bro like do you need me to be on their video did you be in podcast because i remember posting like when i was doing sketches and stuff like that like hey is there anyone that's down to be in a video or can anyone help me out the camera cameraman nothing, nothing. it was like one pe person maybe uh -huh. but they're like oh are you gonna pay i'm like bro i can't pay like i'm yeah, like i'm not making fun I'm yeah exactly someone. And like I'm, just, I know there's gonna be like a couple people just I don't know where they're like, hey, what's up, Andy? I'm like, fuck, where you yeah, been? Yeah, yeah. Like, like, no, that's for sure it's gonna happen. Do you do you feel like you remember, not all of them, but a good amount of people who in the beginning were actually sharing your stuff and like commenting, liking your stuff? Yeah, I, I remember. Like, I'm I'm really good at memorizing uh, like comments. Like, I'm hurt. Um, like when I don't see those comments anymore, like people who used to leave comments that they're not there anymore. Cause what I love the most, I don't care about likes. I don't care about views. I love comments. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, those are my favorite. I love seeing people. I love people's feedback. Uh, so I, I, I just start like, I just start memorizing them by myself. Like, Oh, that's that person. That person. Yeah. Then sometimes I meet them in person and I'm like, Oh yeah, I know you. You're like, you're whatever your, your name is. And it's cool. Like I'm very, I'm very, uh, Sometimes I feel guilty because I don't want, I never want to come off as someone who doesn't reply because I'm not going to lie, bro. Replying takes a lot, <laughs> a lot of energy and a lot of time. And, uh, but I'm just, I am reading everything. I'm there. I feel like I'm a, like, I have like a dark robe and I'm just watching. I feel like a watcher, but I am doing that. My mom gets mad at me that I don't reply. And I'm like, mom, I'm so sorry. Like, you have no idea, like, how tired I am. Like, to her? No, no. It's oh, okay, not. I was like, <laughs> you don't she even text her mom? <laughs> nah, she tells me you should be replying to all these comments. Oh, oh, got it, I, mean, got I it. know, but I'm tired right now. Like, it takes it takes a while. And then I don't want to be saying the same thing because then it's like a copy and paste comment. Thanks, thanks. Yeah, thanks a lot. Exactly. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. It's better 
not saying like it's like oh the fuck is this, this co- i don't know this is how i think it was just a copy and paste comment whatever yeah dude i mean that's just cool i mean like i said of the person that i know of you just seem so fucking determined and i can't i really can't wait to see where you guys go from here because uh-huh. it's really i know you said everything what must goes up what goes up must come down but you guys are going on the fucking high right now for sure that i think what goes up must come down but i see it like this like pretend it's like uh like falling platforms got it and so let's say this platform can only go up this high and then it's going to fall so once this platform reaches its peak i jump and get on the next platform that goes higher go up. and then just go to the next platform which is so you're like super mario yeah yeah <laughs> so i'm not going down yeah maybe my project might go down but i'm gonna just jump on another project and that's gonna be successful well dude i mean you said like you're trying to start a marketing firm yeah which is i mean dude that's like if that's not more of a perfect fit for you then I yeah exactly i think it's like the, the mar- fucking lego it just fits right perfectly right yeah there. i think so too i think I, i've always wanted to be in uh, i always want to do a marketing agency i always want to do a talent agency i always want to do something in the agency world management yeah. talent management and um i feel like i've met i think right now i'm the perfect bridge where um, and I kind of saw this uh, recently uh, when I started doing consulting. It's a lot of people, a lot of like not just like smaller influencers, but bigger influencers, like people you wouldn't believe. They hit me up asking for advice, and um, I've created my name. Like I've I've put so much respect in like the work I do, and people have respected like my hustle and everything. And I I, I don't want to taint that. So everything I do, I make sure the best and that's why I, I that's why like people know like there's people like other influencers like let's say a big influencer he's my homie and he tells his homie his other big influencer homies like hey bro you should go like just give this dude a call like yeah. he got you and then yeah i've never met this dude but like i've never met this influencer before like face to face uh i've seen him most, like all over all over the place and then he just uh we just talking and then we're just sharing advice and then bro you're dope as fuck and i'm like yeah that's, that's i'm here for bro <laughs> so i feel like I've just created a, a an amazing network. Oh, uh, for sure, yeah. Of like influencers and podcasters, and also with brands. So with brands, now I can connect those people and these people together, and I'll be like a cool bridge. Hell yeah! And I just make money off of that. You're the second most influential Gomez in the entertainment business. There's Selena and Becky. <laughs> I was gonna say Becky. <laughs> <laughs> I think Selena is more influential than Becky. Oh fuck! I totally forgot Selena Gomez. Yeah, That's yeah, true. Yeah. I was like, I was like Selena. I was thinking Quintanilla. Oh no! no I was like, no, yeah, my yeah. bad. My Selena bad. Gomez. Marty's gonna get pissed off. She's <laughs> the biggest fucking Selena Gomez fan. Yeah. But that's fucking sick, dude. I mean, I can't wait to see what you do with that. Like, because that's like such a perfect fit for you now. Like, not just even for talking, but I know you love being in front of the camera, but like also helping people I'm a get the man, get man. their fucking dreams too. Yeah. Like, that's, go get it. That's why I'm waiting. I got. I already got you on my list of like marketing clients. Well, that contract I already signed. Oh yeah, that is actually. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I mean, <laughs> hey, whether I want to or not. You want to support McDonald's? <laughs> oh, you don't. Well, too bad. <laughs> this <that> sucks. <laughs> Here's an ad. Today's episode is brought to you by McDonald's. Hey, I'm trying to lose weight. <laughs> I'm trying to lose weight. So like, no, eat it. <laughs> eat this Big Mac. Starbucks. All these canceled brands. Huh? Guess what? Here's an ad. I'll take anything, bro. <laughs> I, I'm making zero dollars. I'm. I'll take anything. Dog, I got slack the other day because you know how McDonald's is canceled right now. Why? The whole Palestine thing. <laughs> I have no idea. No. But... Oh, well, McDonald's is canceled right now. Oh shit. Right, and um, it's like you're not so like influence like influencers who are getting caught eating at McDonald's. It's like a big deal. That bad? Yeah, yeah. Because you're supporting like Israel or something like that. And um, we got in a pickle because we're signed to a network that gets us ads. Yeah. And when you're getting ads, it's not like, it's not a one day thing. It's like a, probably like two, probably like a month or two months of like going back and forth and stuff. Yeah. So our agency was going back and forth with McDonald's and this was pre-cancellation. And uh, I was like, yeah, let's, let, let's do it. And then so when it was finally time to air like the ad, <laughs> oh, oh, God. it was at peak cancellation. And then um, I remember we were talking about it on the show. We we're like, yeah, man, like fuck McDonald's. 
Oh, this, yeah. <laughs> God damn. And then uh, today's episode is brought to you guys by McDonald's. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it's like, I hate the Big Mac, but thank you for sponsoring yeah, yeah, this yeah, podcast. Yeah, so damn. Damn. those are pickles. Dude. But at the way I see it, though, it's like, whether you want to support or not, they're supporting us. They're giving us money. Exactly. We're not giving them money. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So. As long as you're not really eating there, but they're paying you, you're fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't like. I didn't text you today saying you want McDonald's. No, no, please. no. Screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> so um, this is a n- new segment I'm gonna try this time. You're actually with the first person. Um, show us your bank account. So, so if you can just pull it up and we'll just show a screenshot. And bro, <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're like, hey, oh, you're in the negatives. <laughs> hey, I wanna fuck. I'm already saying this. Because I want to inspire the youth and inspire everybody. I don't even want to say that. Fuck. You don't I, have to. I, I was just fucking around. I was I, like, <laughs> no, I didn't push on my bank account, but something recently just happened where I was like, whoa. Basically, I had a goal for this year and it was crushed in less than a month. So you saw extra zeros in your bank account. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> yeah. No, I know. I know. It was, I was, I, I told my mom, I was like, yo. Um, and, but again, it's not, when it comes to social media money, it's not like, if you see me, if you see me do a brand deal, I don't have that money. I have that money in like 60 or 180 days. Yeah. So yeah, it's awful gazy. So up there, not in my bank account up there, looks like a good summer. <laughs> right? <laughs> y'all see me, y'all see me in yachts. You're like. In three months, though, it's going to yeah, be fucking sick. Yeah, yeah. Right now, I'm broke. But in three months, dude, me up. Dude, your fucking tweet got me. Um, the one that I don't care how much I put into my credit cards or anything. I just, oh, yeah. Dude, I showed Marley with that tweet. And she's like, oh, my God. She's like, yep. Bro, I don't believe in debt at all. I know I should because I'm just like, oh, it's getting it's, it's getting to that point. But no, yeah, I, yeah I'm the same way. I'm like, I'm it's gonna make debt. it. Like, I'm gonna make it. Yeah, exactly. It's good. De- like for example, debt. Um, like for equipment. Like if you're buying equipment and you're going in debt for buying equipment, it's all tax write off either way. So you're chilling, but it's all gonna be paid back. Yeah, like, I'm gonna make that shit back. I'm gonna make that shit back this year. And, and it's like literally, if you stop. Then yeah, that sucks. You're you you fucked up. You fucked up. You're getting into debt. But yeah, yeah. I think sooner or later, if you just keep going, like yeah. you're gonna find your own niche, your own fans, and it's gonna blow up from there. Yeah, obviously, don't be like, don't yeah. be like, buy all the best equipment. Yeah, 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 yeah. But buy what you need to make it happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good. let's okay. Let's let's bring it down. What you really need: a cell phone for your camera, yep. an iPhone or whatever, anything that shoots good camera. You can buy a seventeen dollar mic from fucking Amazon that sounds really fucking good. Yeah, and you can edit on your phone. You can edit on your phone. Uh, Low key, an iPad will be. You would probably be cool with an iPad. There you go. Yeah. And what a recorder maybe? Yeah. Which is uh the Pod Track Four is like one hundred fifty bucks. Exactly. And you have your phone. It's not like you have to go buy a phone. You have your phone. Yeah, people just want to make excuses of why they can't start. But yeah, that's why. That's one of my thing was my consulting. So I do consulting too. Um. People are so intimidated uh, about starting a podcast. And I'm like, why? I don't know. It just seems so expensive. I'm like, oh, well, four years. <laughs> bow, 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 bow. Done. So, and they're like, oh, what the fuck? I was yeah. like, yeah, it's that easy. Yeah. So, if you want consulting services, hit me up. Do you have a name for it? Or you don't have to say it, but. Uh, no, I don't. I don't have a name for it. Okay. It's just kind of just been a private. Like, I've just, I'm recently going public with it. Before it was a private thing. It was it was pretty cool how it happened. Like just companies were just hitting me up. They're saying that I was making noise and like, hey, can you help us out? And I was like, yeah. So I helped out three companies last year, and uh, it was dope. It was I had a great time, and uh, I flew around, flew around. I, I went to Texas, I went to Vegas, I was out here, so it was cool. And and I like that you also take advantage of like these trips because mm-hmm. I saw Vegas. You did a podcast out there. You oh went yeah. To Texas. You did a podcast out there, mm-hmm. and I'm like, dude, that's. You're, you're smart. You're, and you're a smart fellow. <laughs> Not bro. You're smart, bro. How many podcasts are you doing today? Three. Exactly, bro. I can't do three. That's tough. I don't know how you're doing it. To be honest. Te salud. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the energy one. No. No, dude. I, I think I'm like, I'm on the same boat as you as, and I love this shit. Yeah. Like, 
I mean, of course, acting and sketches will always be my number one. But like, I love talking to people. I love meeting people. I love finding their stories. Like, yeah. like I like inspiring people. And I feel like this one's going to be really inspirational because of everything you've been saying. Appreciate that. And you probably didn't even hit record on the audio, did you? I did. <laughs> the whole I time? I about that like 10 minutes in. Dude, I did too. I was like. I hope it's recording. <laughs> yeah, it's recording. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> oh no. So many times that's happening. I'm like, oh, oh dude. And that's what I mean. I mean, but yeah, dude. That, I feel like that's the one thing that has just been keeping me going. It's just like, I love this. And yeah, I mean, I got my nine to five job, so. It's going to pay off, bro. It really is. It's, uh, you have to be extremely delusional. That's going to happen. And it's going to happen. Also, you should do, do some like some shit I did, um, like write down everything you, like everything you're going to achieve, just write it down and make it into a, Bible. not make it, literally make it into a Bible, but call it the Bible. Cause you know how in the Bible, for me, how I see it, it's like, it's ready. God has already written out your plan. Yeah. Right. So I'm just borrowing the pen, <laughs> you know, just tweaking some things. Yeah. I want a big booty Latina in there. You put me in a Lamborghini with a big booty Latina. So just take that pen and write what you want too. So big that she barely fits in the memory. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so make that uh make that make your own little Bible. Yeah. And then just bless it. Dude, my fucking Apple Notes. That that's my Bible. I know I'm supposed to write it. Yeah. But Apple Notes for me. You oh, you know what it is? You know it's better than Apple Notes? If you want to be successful, you want to be a successful, buy a big ass whiteboard. That's a small even, whiteboard. Oh, okay. Even bigger. Big ass whiteboard Got that it. you put at the where don't put it on your door, put it to the side of your door so you always see it when you're leaving that, your room. That's every it. single time. Big ass whiteboard. And you just put all your thoughts on this whiteboard. Literally every thought you have, all your goals, your plans, put it on that whiteboard. And it's all it takes to be successful. Big ass whiteboard. Dude, I mean, even with this podcast, like Every podcast so far, I hope I don't forget, I've been ending it with stay tuned for Tom Cruise to be next week's guest because I'm like, one day, one day that's going to be fucking true. That'd be dope. Yeah. So Tom Cruise. we'll see. Yeah. We can make that happen. I mean, you're fucking like between me and you, I feel like you have a better chance of getting Tom Cruise on your show. Dude, I would love that. I, mean, <laughs> I just I just feel like I'm right there because I've been in his vicinity three times and like I'm like this. I was this far away from him. Like, but I'm like, I never got to like shake yeah, his hand yeah, or anything. Bro. So we'll see. You want to take a quick little break? Yeah, sure. I'm cool. Down. Take a quick little break. <sighs> so Saul's so weird on, on breaks. He just, he tried to take me to his room. His He's home alone. But it's fine. You know, it's cool. I mean, ever since I signed the contract, he's just been acting weird and weirder. He's been looking at me weird. To lie, I'm jittery when he, he said break, and I was like, "Fuck break, break, <laughs> I'll uh, go, bro." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I was like, "What do I do?" I don't... We our break was like 20 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I thought that was gonna be the opportunity for you to go get what you had to do, but you're like, oh, "I already got it, I'm, bro. I'm ready. I, I'm true to this. Not new to this. I'm pro, guy." Damn, I know. My bad. I'm such a noob. I'm still there. I bought. I'm gonna be a noob. <laughs> so I guess I'm gonna try. Gonna go back to one subject because i was just thinking about it what do you think about this whole fucking cancellation thing do you think it's starting to get better now the way real. that people don't get canceled anymore canceling isn't real unless you're racist or homophobic well i guess that's how you get canceled right <laughs> yeah i'm like well <laughs> that's that's the definition <laughs> yeah never mind um i mean well because like uh, all right i'll bring up like a, a comedian like shane gillis <laughs> like that fool got hired onto snl they figured out or they found old videos of him saying whatever he said or making jokes. And now he's going to host SNL. So they fired him from SNL before he even went on. And now he's going to host SNL. Hell yeah. So what, what, uh, what are your little thoughts on that? I mean, do you think, uh, do you still think like you still don't get canceled unless you let it? Unless you're, yeah. I unless think, you uh, really deserve it. Yeah. Unless you really deserve it. Like if you literally a, a bad like if you're literally a racist at heart you're literally homophobic at heart but like i feel like back then like 20 years ago 10 years ago all of us would have been canceled <laughs> yeah because it's oh yeah and it's not like malicious it was just that the knowledge wasn't there i didn't know i like for sure bro i'm not gonna t I'll tell you right now like when i was younger i was saying the n-word mm -hmm. i was saying um saying the f-word 
I say all these things. And uh, cause I didn't know, like first, first it was, it, none of this was like in my community where I'd be like, I didn't know it was offending people. Yeah. Cause I wasn't in like, I, I wasn't in, like in the, any of those communities. I, I wasn't saying what that, what that stuff meant to people, what it felt, to, how it made them feel. And so I started meeting people and I started hearing more stories and I started learning of like just backgrounds behind certain words. And I was like, obviously, I never dropped no hard R because that, yeah. that's an obvious one. Like, you know, that's just bad. Yeah. But when you hear like the like the quick end, you know, the quick end one, I grew up on black comedy and I love black comedy. And yeah. every time they said the N word is so much funnier. Yeah. So I want to be a funny guy. So I was dropping it after my jokes. And uh, why? Because I didn't know. I thought it was that's that's what that was what I was growing up in. And then I started learning like, oh, people don't like uh being called that if you're not like part of that community and i was like oh shit i apologize so i mean that's why I, that's why i didn't really believe, i don't really believe in cancel culture because if you get canceled for something you just didn't know about then that's not fair i got canceled recently like well not recently but my most recent cancellation was um probably like a year before the podcast um <coughs> i made a tiktok it was um when you're when you're five shots in and the and instead of using the word trans i use the word trans with the y at the end and i didn't know that was a bad word i swear to god i didn't i didn't know that was a bad word i didn't even know it was a bad word word. yeah and i thought you know what after i learned that i started telling people hey that's a bad word oh so i made a word i made i made a funny tiktok i was like when you're four shots in and that trans starts looking good or something like that and then um but i used the with the yeah yeah, yeah. and i was motherfuckers went at me like it hit that community and my shit was getting blown up everywhere you you know it's funny like i know people in these communities but some of them like don't give a fuck dude yeah. they're still like they're so fucking funny there's one one of my homies he's he's gay and everything like i didn't find out you, if you would have never known you straight up like if you didn't know him you would have never known yeah. like this fool was a marine and he did everything and like cool as fuck and like he's like yeah like he's like i'm just me like i don't get offended or anything you can mess around like we're yeah. just fucking funny like as long as you don't like actually mean that shit then he's yeah. like i'm cool so I-, I was just thinking about that with you like being a comedian too you've done stand-up comedy like do you think things that are said on stage or things that unless it's like really fucking bad of yeah. course like i know i'm not saying these people i'm saying like the people that are saying jokes yeah um i think if you you will you can tell you can tell if someone's forcing it to be funny or if it's just part of their like natural ability like this is their naturalness for example um you can tell when there's a like a, a dude who's not black who constantly uses the n-word you can tell that's just part of his vocabulary and he's not trying to fake a funk yeah and that's just his that's how he grew up in versus someone who thinks oh I'm going to hit this and they're going to laugh. Like how I was saying, like, yeah. oh, it's going to be funny Got if it. I say this. Got it. You can tell just by the the way the cadence and how it's delivered. Yeah. Basically, uh, you can tell who's who was raised in the community where he's just like, okay, maybe he just didn't know versus someone who's like, let me let me push the limits. Yeah. You know, so well, you can tell. Well, I think it's funny, like 6'9 uh, and a little pump. Exactly. Like Latinos and everything, but they're like, that- we were raised with like that's what i was with everybody about, yeah, yeah. So i was thinking about i was like six nine part of his okay i mean everybody every fucking mexican middle schooler <laughs> it's true <laughs> yeah yeah dude uh but that's fucking funny all right so before we keep babbling on and we get canceled yeah. <laughs> I know, it's like this is the ca- this is the episode that canceled this andy so um yeah dude so i'm gonna go to my favorite part of this of the show um uh, just I literally have no name, so if you can come up with a fucking name, but it's just like an Andy show and tell. Like I said, I love talking to people. I love finding out who they are, and I always ask them, "Hey, can you bring something to the show that you have a story of that you have like uh, that you want to share with us?" So, yeah. so, what do you have to share? I brought, da-na-na-na. I brought my Spurs. Oh shit! <laughs> okay, from when I was like, uh, I don't know, maybe I was like, you had it the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's sick. Maybe when I was like six or five. I don't know. Look how this is where my foot's supposed to go. So it's a small ass foot. I was like, damn, yeah. So yeah. whatever uh size that is. Wow. But Vichy already. You- <laughs> <laughs> what people don't know is that I used to be a cowboy. Damn, okay. Yeah, I used to ride bulls. I can I can mount a horse, I can set a horse, I can everything. I took care of horses. I fed all the horses. My dad used to have like a bunch of horses in the backyard. And it was like my responsibility to like maintain them. And- oh shit. Okay. So yeah, I was a cat. So that's yours right there. Yeah. That's fucking sick. I don't that's think I've ever seen any of them in person. Sick, huh? Yeah. So yeah, these are mine. And yeah, so like something, yeah, I, before when I was younger, I wanted to be a professional bull rider. Damn, okay. Yeah. So. Hardcore fucking different, huh? <laughs> yeah do you think you, you could you still do all that 100 percent. really oh uh, well i can 100 percent ride a horse uh to like prep the horse now i probably gotta like see it one more time and then i do it because it's been f- fucking years last time i like got on a horse like that it was like fifth grade probably damn okay yeah dude I, it's probably me because i wasn't raised with them but those shit's scary horses like i mean if you fuck up like i mean yeah if you get behind them like Horses are gorgeous. Now, horses are like... Oh, no, they're beautiful. Yeah, they're ba- well, They're like so sweet, though. Like, they love humans. Uh, You just don't fuck with them. Just don't. <laughs> my, my, hey, they love you. Just leave them alone. Because they? <laughs> they're powerful. They're yeah. young as fuck. Um, one of our horses bit my brother before in the back. <laughs> oh, shit. He might still have a scar. yanked him. Really? Yeah. God damn. Because he, my kid was feeding him. And he looks like a carrot. <laughs> Low-key. I don't know what he was doing, but... It's He's a, probably fucking with them. You always say like, if you're fucking like, it's always during feeding that and, and with any animal, okay. like you gotta be careful with feeding. Yeah, and he just yeah you know, took a little bite. That's cool. That's I never knew that about you. That's really interesting. Never seen my video when I I rode a bull. Uh uh-uh. You haven't? Uh uh-uh. uh. What? Damn. Never That's some exclusive. Is this on your Instagram? Yes, yeah, on my Instagram. Well, if you scroll it to the bottom, uh, there's a video of me riding a bull. I yeah, want to do it. I, I want to do, do that because then I'll probably accidentally like him. Like, what the fuck? This boy just like the video from two years ago. <laughs> Where is that? That's fucking sick, though. Where is that bull riding? And not this house, right? <laughs> no, not this house. Oh, Dude. here it is. What? Let me see that shit. That's fucking sick. <laughs> All right, I'm going to post it. Oh, shit. Okay, so. Tell you, I was, I was fucking. That's crazy. It'll be here. You guys can watch right here. And I'm not like IE and friends in Bueno Bueno. I'll post it. Right <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's Hans editing. Dude, that's fucking sick. Dude, that's good funny. for you, man. That's that's fucking badass. Damn, I was a wild boy. So, would it be one of your dreams to have a rancho right now? Oh, 100%. That, that's how uh, my uh, my future house, or when I'm like super rich, I probably have some horses. I want to have like a ranch style wedding. Oh, Very okay. traditional, yeah. Dude, hell yeah. yeah. Super fucking different than... Yeah, I know. I was like, <laughs> I honestly didn't expect that. I mean, like, I'd never know what to really expect, but that's... Yeah. I really didn't expect the yeah. whole cowboy story. No, yeah, that's... that's Bro, that's my... that That's... That's, like, what I grew up on. Like, my dad's crazy. My dad's super ranchero. Like, you know how I joke around my dad being a machista? Because he's, like, a ranchero. Like, that dude... Yeah. He's... He was in, like... We did it with horses, chickens, roosters goats i think uh at a time we had i think five or six horses in the back we had a bull we had a shitload of chickens and a shitload of roosters we had a goat and we had a german shepherd we had a whole ass farm damn yeah that's fucking sick would you dress up like a cowboy stuff if it wasn't for your sick ass swag if i dress up like yeah honestly <laughs> i want to i want to this is the thing I'm like i love like i feel like i'm just uh in the culture we're in right now, like if I decide to like wear a cowboy hat or anything like that, people are gonna call me a poser, which I get it. I mean, I haven't like I moved like I moved out to the city. <laughs> yeah, but that's always been that's always like something inside. No one really knows about. Yeah, I'm a cowboy guy. I'm a cowboy man. Save a horse, ride a cowboy. Do you listen to country music or is it all Spanish? Uh, okay, wait. So are you a Mexican cowboy or you- Mexican cowboy? Okay, a vaquero. A vaquero. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Cause I know there's a difference. I mean, they're the same but different. Yeah, I fuck with country, uh, with country cowboys. I looked up to them, cause they're like, well, not mm, yeah, they're cool. But for me, when I was like 
professional bull riding. Like professional bull riding, the PBR, they're so boring. Like they're just spinning in circles. Like the if you see like a Mexican dude riding a bull, the bull is going all over the fucking. Oh bull yeah, ride. yeah, yeah. I was like, that's more fun. So okay, they're not training bulls. Like they're wild bulls. That's fun. That's fun. Yeah, yeah. So, so you, that's my life. That's that's is that a long term goal? Like a future goal to have a rancho and all that. Yeah, stuff? yeah, yeah. I'll probably oh, retire yeah. in a ranch. Really? Okay. Yeah. Sucks. This girl I had a huge crush on. She was into like that that lifestyle, like this whole cowboy thing. And uh, she didn't want me because our she didn't know I was into this, and she's into the country man. Well, I'm a country boy at heart, but not right now. I'm stacking up my money. Hell yeah! Then I'll get a ranch. I mean, yeah, you gotta work. And it's funny because I look at your hat and it has like it looks like camouflage from here. I was like, fucking cowboy. I always there's always something cowboy about me. Yeah, there's always something cowboy about me. That's fucking funny, dude. I probably get a tattoo. I actually want to get my first tattoo. I wanted to be a bull. My favorite animal is a bull. Really? Yeah. So, I'm do something like that, and the go Dallas Cowboys, huh? Oh fuck no! Actually, that back then, yes, because I was like, oh yeah, when I didn't know about football, yeah, yeah, and I was like, oh yeah, Cowboys, fuck yeah, that's my team. So I've always said Cowboys are my team because I like Cowboys. There you go. Yeah. Said it here first. <laughs> is do who you fuck? I told you it's Aaron. Okay, Aaron. we'll bring it back. <laughs> so you're a fucking cowboy. Oh crazy! After all that, <laughs> oh dude, <laughs> so you're a fucking cowboy, <laughs> <laughs> dude. Well. Like I said, thank you very much. This has been lots of fun. I hope it's been inspirational for you guys because it's been inspirational for me for sure. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to their stuff. I am friends, bueno, bueno, the besties. My personal YouTube channel. And the personal YouTube channel releasing videos every Thursday. Yeah. You literally have you literally have people's attention Monday through Thursday. And Friday on Patreon. Oh, okay. There you go. See, I'm poor. I can't pay the <laughs> sorry. I'm Monopoly, bro. I'm Monopoly. Damn, okay. So you got Fridays and then literally there's videos dropping every day coming from me. Videos dropping every day. So if you get bored, it's your problem. Like if you say that there's nothing on YouTube, there's no excuse. It's your problem. Yeah. Can, can you say what next week's? Oh well, wait, never mind, because this might come out in like four weeks a month. Mm -hmm. So what's a future Saul Gomez video that we should expect? Silent Library. That's Dude, video. I just who was I talking to you? I don't know. I talked to somebody. I was like, bro. I think it was Hans that I was like, bro, I want to do a silent library. And I was telling that you guys should do that shit. Yeah. I was someone. We'll yeah. probably film that next week. Dude, that's fucking funny. So silent library, that's what I'm excited for. Well, if you need somebody else. <laughs> or the, this probably already came out. Yeah, yeah. It, came out. it already came out. So. Link in the bio. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, dude, go subscribe to Saul. He's, he's got big things coming. Future, more future plans. And then, dude, so thank you very much. Anything? Appreciate you. Anything else you want to say before we go? And I'll thank you for giving me the time to talk. I feel like I haven't really had like a one-on-one, -on -one, like I've been wanting to do like a podcast, like a one-on-one -on -one podcast. So thank you for bringing me onto your show. Thank you. I really dude. appreciate it. Uh, thank you guys for listening and watching. And if you've made it this far, yeah. uh, that means you should subscribe because or else like what, 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 what are you here for? Like, yeah, exactly. Come on. <laughs> hit the subscribe button right now. Hit yeah, the subscribe. Let's, let's show some love. Yeah, exactly. show some love. Hit the like button at least. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much, Saul. So, yeah, thank you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this. Um, we're everywhere, too. We're Spotify. I never push that. I always forget. Spotify and Apple Podcasts. So, if you listen to there. Leave a review. Yeah, leave a review. Thank you very much. And, hey, stand to, uh, well, stand by for, what was I saying? God damn. G uh, Cowboys. Yeah, go Cowboys. How about now, them Cowboys? How about them Cowboys next year? <laughs> uh, but, yeah, stay tuned for Tom Cruise to be next week's guest. Hell yeah. Bye. Bye. I'm podcast. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs>